Hi everybody, Theodore has asked me to show you how I uh, start the seedlings. We like to start seedlings and create our own uh, little nursery because if you go to the nursery and you buy six packs of flowers and you have a landscape like ours, you can spend a lot of money trying to put in and fill in the areas. And besides, it's kind of fun to start your own seeds and rather than planting six plants or 12 plants or using you know 18 plants to try to fill in 100 square feet, you can just stick lots of plants in there they grow faster, or not faster, but they fill in faster, and they have a lot more solid color. So we like to do that and start them on our own. Generally, we do this in the house, but I'm outside today, and we have some snapdragons. This is just a wild flower mix that we got with tall snapdragons. We got this at our local uh, nursery. You can get it at Home Depot or just even a hardware store. Um, what kind of seed you use is not real important if you're just trying to fill in areas. Must qualities are pretty good. Now, you're going to need a seedling tray of some sort. You can use a variety of things, but I like to use one that is just a molded plastic. You're going to need a medium. I usually use this fine vermiculite. You can get medium and coarse sizes as well. And again, you can buy this at your nursery or Home Depot or uh, possibly you know, Amazon, that type of thing. And of course, you're going to need your seeds and a watering source. You notice this has holes in it, and for my fine vermiculite, it falls through real easily. So what I do is I just take strips of paper towels, and then I just push it into the bottom. It doesn't have to be very clean, and I mean neat. You do want to use clean materials. I've washed this tray. If you've used it before, you should disinfect it just to help prevent any uh, seedling uh, diseases. And I'm not going to do too many today, so I'm just going to stick a few in here. That will keep the medium from falling through the bottom. And then... Just simply fill this up. Now this is very dry at the moment, so you do need to water it before you put your seeds in there. And I just use a very large syringe. And I just thoroughly wet the vermiculite. Vermiculite is great. It drains really well. It holds a lot of water. So you really don't have to worry about overwatering it so much. You can just go ahead and get it good and wet because you want it to get down. Usually I'll fill it until it starts to leak out the bottom. That way I know the whole depth of it is wet. So when your seeds do germinate, the seeds will be, the roots will be going down. You don't want them to go down into dry vermiculite because they'll stop, they won't go into it. That should be enough. Okay, so now it's ready, and um, there's various ways of putting your seeds in. By the way, these uh, snapdragon seeds are very, very small. You should always check to see what kind of germination requirements there are for seeds. Different seeds have different requirements. Snapdragons, for example, need light to germinate. Most seeds usually need darkness, but there are a lot of seeds that do need light. So we're not going to cover these. If you had a seed that actually needed to be darkness, you would have to cover it up. And also the packaging. Packaging will generally will tell you what is. Yeah. The instruction. Yeah, and if not, uh, Google it. Uh, and you can find out plenty of information on it. These are really small, so I can kind of handle them by my fingers and just kind of put them in like I was putting on salt in a soup batch or something like that. But uh, sometimes seeds are uh, almost like dust, and I'll put them into a folded piece of paper and just tap the paper and try to control the seeds as they fall. Because um, you don't want to end up with 100 of your seeds here and then two or three spread out there. That's not going to do any good. So. I'm just going to 
sprinkle these on. You don't want it to be real thick because these are going to grow and when it's time to transplant you want to be able to grab individual plants to put into the peat pots. So don't want it too thick. Now that I've done that I'm going to give it just a little bit more water. There's two ways of doing it. You can use this or sometimes I use a misting bottle just to make sure that the seeds are now wet. We know the ground is wet but I want the seeds to be wet too. Now the germination temperature for snapdragons is around 65 degrees. A little bit on the cool side. You don't want them to get too hot. So I'm not going to use a germination pad. Okay, and so you don't need to cover these uh, because again they need light so you don't want to cover them. So this is a simple method. Uh, this is pretty much how you do it. Um, you can do this for petunias. You can do it for the, uh, the snapdragons as we're doing today. Theodore likes a lot of zinnias. And we grow a lot of variety. We've done stock, we've done uh, uh, calendulas, all kinds of different type of things that we do it with. You can do it anything. We've even done it with corn. We'll plant it into peat pots though, into little six packs and then transplant them out just to try to get ahead because our ground out here is often too wet to stick straight into the ground early in the season. Anyway, these are ready for uh, putting into our art studio and uh, putting under lights. So follow me and I'll show you what we do. All right, so you just need a table. We have a grow light that we uh, purchased from a very large online dealership um, and gives you a choice of time. And since these actually need to be under light while they're germinating, I'm just gonna turn the power on. And these are simple LED. They are sort of a red and blue spectrum, which is good for germination. You can use even the regular white grow lights too. Keep them close. Um, Lights like these are not real powerful. Sometimes people think you can just stick them on the ceiling, but these type of things, no. The closer you can get it to your uh, germination tray, the better. And we can just leave that there uh, for another week or so, and uh, our little uh, kids here will come up. Do you turn it off at all? No. Just leave it on I'll 24 leave it on. hours. I'll leave it on 24 hours until they start popping up. Okay. Hi everyone, this is an update to the video that we made um, on planting seeds of the uh, snapdragons. Uh, we planted the snapdragons at the beginning of July and it is now uh, the first week of August, so it's approximately a month. And this is what the uh, plants look like. They germinated at two weeks and continue to grow at this height. They grew pretty well. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we transfer these plants uh, from this tray into the six pack um, trays right here. And then from this we let them grow a little bit bigger and then we put it into um, the ground. Okay so here's what we're going to do. Um, so we put some soil in this um, pack and it's just a miracle grow um, soil, a any potting soil will do. So I poke holes in this um, tray, not too deep because the plants as you can see are not very uh, big yet. So I just do this on all of them, just your finger, get your finger dirty. So it doesn't have to take very long to do. There's little insects playing here. Okay, so I think I got all of it. And so now I just take a, um, a popsicle stick is what I have here. And I slowly uh, remove a little at a time from here. So I kind of just start maybe this much right here, okay? And here's a little plant right here with a root system right there. So I just put it in there ever so gently and bury it. Okay. 
and so you separate them this is a nice root system right there you separate them gently and you start filling your tray with this plant So after I plant this, I'm going to be putting this in the greenhouse and I'm going to be watering them, watching them, making sure that they don't dry out and uh, probably in a couple of weeks or so, they will be ready to be transferred out uh, into the garden. And I'll give you, we'll try to do another update on that. and. Make sure that you uh, keep an eye on it, especially if you live in an area that is hot. Um, you know, you don't want to get it dried because they're still very young and they need to be able to develop a stronger root system. Okay. Those things. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We're going to put this in the greenhouse and uh, keep an eye on it and make sure that it doesn't dry out. We do use water with um, some uh, weak um, strength of miracle Grow just to make sure that they, you know, they're getting nutrients. That's it. That's pretty much it. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I'm going to put a slideshow at the end of this video of the snapdragons um, when they were blooming earlier this spring. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.